from October 4th to October 8th, uh, we are celebrating at the PRBB, the second uh, BPH Network of Excellence Study Group. And uh, in this occasion, we are dealing with multi scale simulations. The goal is to try to show how to apply these simulations to use cases that uh, are relevant for uh, biomedical approaches. Essentially, this is an absolutely multi level uh, uh, study group, actually. Multi level in terms of the approaches that we are following, in terms of the issues we are dealing with, and in terms of the people that is here. So, we have uh, from, under, from graduate students to senior researchers, and we have from mathematicians to chemists, to biologists, to medicine doctors. It's really great to be here in Barcelona at the study group, um, meeting all the, the students, um, very enthusiastic, um, presenting them a bit about um, the tools that we've been developing in the BPH, and I think hopefully also getting some feedback on how easy they are to use and how useful, which will be great for uh, continued work. The study group is not intended to solve problems, it's intended to put people together to think on those problems and eventually to propose protocols, ideas, new ways of tackling problems. Our passion is to, uh, to try to understand by computing. That means that we collaborate a lot with, with people from the life sciences and we try to model uh, what they see. But they depend on the voltage all the time. Mm -hmm. So you have this equation with this exponential function where you have resulting uh, time constants like this and that, opening and closing. Mm -hmm. But we want to find uh, concrete data, like in charts, mm -hmm. where we can use the parameter dependent on a certain voltage. The big challenge, and that's exactly the challenge that we face also in this workshop, is to collaborate. What we try to do here is try to understand what are the physical, mathematical and computational methods that are useful to understand these type of problems in an integrated way.